All right, guys, I just picked up a huge of oak firewood. I'll give you a quick little glimpse. Nice load of firewood. He says it's been sitting six months, big chunks. I got, I couldn't even, some of the stuff I couldn't even pick up. I I'd say several thousand pounds. I didn't get, he told me actually I can go back and get more, but I would need the tractor to flip over all the stuff. Uh, there's a lot of the nice new stuff is on the bottom. Anyway, all right, we're heading home. I'll show you it all when I get to the house. I don't know why he didn't pick the camera up when I was doing the work. Oh, I know one reason. I found uh, a red ant pile when I first got there, and it kind of took my mind off stuff in a way. All right, guys. It's about a 20-minute drive. We'll be home. All right. Here's my wood stack I got last night. I told you about a lot of good wood here guys this is all oak and it's probably at least one more to two more of these loads looks good so what i did is i brought my wood splitter out here instead of me brent having to carry it put it in the truck carry it down the wood splitter and then pick it all back up again i'm just going to go ahead and get my wood splitter going out here kind of do it in the shade and start splitting some wood Start eliminate some of this stuff. There's a lot of good oak here, guys. Man, look how big these pieces are. What's that? Maybe two foot across? For sure, that one right there is. That's two foot across. All right. Let me get splitting. Get going here. See, I've already done to everything that was right in this area. That's fit in there. And then again, now when we turn as I can see, I'm looking at. And then there's all those pieces. Those are solid pieces. These things weigh like a hundred pounds a pop. You can see it all. I'll have to cut some of these up. We'll get there. I hate when they can't cut straight. Ah, fries my you know whoosies. Someone don't know how to cut straight. Like that a lot of places. Anyway. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and take my few minute break here, recoup. And then I'm going to get back at... Alright, I got this load done. There we go. Let me back up. Get that all filled in. And then I went, took a break, and all the long stuff that was on top, I got all right here. All this is, is cut up. Um, some of them were the right length, some of them were shorter, just because of the size of the log. I had to split them in half. And then I still got all that to do. So I'm guessing I'm going to have three truckloads. And that's going out to my woodshed. All right, here's my firewood. That I've got to go ahead and start stacking. Um, this is the firewood that I did last month. It's sitting there. Uh, you see how I got a T post here? And there's a T post over here. It's on each end of my my uh, wood piles, but they are bolted 
as you see here and down there. Well, I gotta add, that one does not have a T-post. I can, right now, that square stack, we should be okay. But, I will be adding a T-post right here. And by, in doing that, I'm gonna have to take off uh, probably this post right here, unscrew it, let the T-post fall down, bang the T-post in the ground where I want it, and fold it in behind here. Because these are tight. And that helps hold all that. All right. As you told you a minute ago, I was gonna, here's my wood barn. I added some more on top, and there's that T-post I brought in. And I realized that I cannot take that T-post screws loose to the outside because that pile will fall over. I forgot all about it. So I was able to drive a post in, put, bend it back, and I'm tying it on with some T-post straps. Once the wood gets up against this, this will be secure. All right, this is round two. And there is another full load of wood on the back. And then we still have all this to go. So I said three more loads. I got a feeling it's going to be four. So that's what we got right now. This is some heavy sh stuff. Almost said the word, didn't I? <laughs> Almost said it. All right, here's what the first load of wood got me. That back, well, I did do that top part, about a foot across the top. And then from here over both stacks is what was in the back of my truck. So I should have the same now of that. I'm trying to keep this wood here separate because that's what I'll burn this year. That'd be, that's a year and a half old. So from here over for right now, that's the stack we got to work with. I've got more to split and cut, and I know they'll go up above all this, and then I got another row right here I can put. So we'll have enough wood, and that will be all the wood I need to get. And also, <laughs> I gotta cut that down and split. We'll figure it out. Man, this oak's heavy. Well, here you go. That's uh, round two's done. So now we go up there and get that splitter fired up. And uh, we'll see what we end up with the next one. I'll probably have to start another pile right here next. Just because this is wood I'm going to use next year. So I'll go as far as I can over. I'll work with it. We'll see what happens. <clears throat> and go from there. Whew. All right, time to take a break. You want to talk about some heavy stuff. There, each one of these. I've only got this left. My truck is full again. I could put more back there, but I got my tools back there. Got a flat on my log splitter. Those are brand new sneakers I put on too this year. Gonna have to figure out what's going on with that. But I can't even lift that up. I mean, I got it on a trailer, but I can't walk with it. So we're gonna have to cut those up. Same as these, all these here are heavy. I think I'm just getting tired. I don't like doing flip. My log splitter does stand up. I don't like being down there because I have such a knee problem that I can't kneel. So it's this easier for me to go over here, stand, pick them up, set it on there. And it's easier. I last 10 times longer. So I'm going tomorrow. I got to take the chainsaw, cut that long one over there in half, cut that notch off there. And I'm just going to cut these down right in half. All right. The firewood is done. That's my last bit. Let me see the floor is all rotted out. I got a couple of big chunks of wood over here. You would, you would say, why aren't you using it? Because the center of it is right there and it's all water rot. It's really, it's not a good wood. The only spot that's good wood is like the outer one and a half inch edge. You can kind of see it on that, that one piece right there. Right along that edge line is is where it's good wood you only get a piece about that big um, you can kind of see it right there in that it's about that much and that's it the rest of that wood is soft it's just like that you can see the difference in the wood see this is the wood I'm talking about can you see how this right here it's this is wet and um, this part you can burn but this is the crap it's really junk I'll keep it in there but um, you can see how I was trying to tell you a minute ago how that last inch 
and then you end up with that you know when it's really doesn't burn as hot so anyway all this wood is good wood here this whole load was an extremely good get all right all the wood stacked here we go yes sir look at that it's eight foot long and this here up this part right here is five foot tall so we did pretty good but there you go this is all the wood and I still have room for that tree right there that has to come down but I'm I don't know when um, I'm not too sure when I'm gonna attach that yeah, attack that all right guys I'm gonna get going another good project done back sore but anyway y'all have a great day and uh, thanks for watching subscribe share with everybody hit that little bell ding ding gives you notifications when my new videos are coming out uh, watch my playlist got a playlist down in the description you can pull up whatever I've got on there and uh, appreciate everything you're doing thanks for watching and thanks for commenting Thanks. Bye.